if you're the kind of person that likes to have like a lot of windows open in your software and always drive your hardware to the limit you're going to like this video because I have this 49 euro Fonera here and connected to all sorts of stuff and I'm going to show you what it does because it's not only a Fonera where you share a little Wi-Fi at home and you roam the world for free but it, it's also a Fonera that downloads your torrents that downloads from mega upload and rapid share that uploads stuff to YouTube that gives you 3G and it does all sorts of things that you would never expect your Wi-Fi router to do it's really like a little Linux computer um, that w does a lot of work for you now why would you want to download stuff into your hard drive your Foneras, pen drives or even this hard drive here well because maybe you spent a thousand euros on this or more then you want to take it with you or maybe because you're like a green and you hate to see a computer of this size on all night so you can download a couple of movies and the money you're saving on the movies you're actually spending on electricity of course I don't mean if you are downloading illegally which uh, I'm not encouraging at all it's the money you spent in gasoline going to uh, the DVD shop to buy a DVD you know what I mean so the way this works is you type Fonera in your Firefox like Internet Explorer Chrome or any browser you use you try you type the word Fonera just Fonera you don't need to type all those numbers which I did type here but normally you don't need to do this um, you just type Fonera and you get to this dashboard and this dashboard is being served by this Fonera okay and then you can manage what you would like to do if you want to send videos to YouTube you just get a pen drive like that one you stick videos in it and you put them in a folder called YouTube and then when you put the, the pen drive into the Fonera, the Fonera already sends them to YouTube and they come in this form, Fonera Upload. And then of course you can edit them and you can say where this video was taken, in this case London, and you can do it whatever you want but this takes very little compared to the time that it takes to send stuff to YouTube normally from a computer like this one which costs a lot of money and consumes a lot of electricity then you can get torrents so you go to your favorite torrent site and you get whatever torrents you want you stick the torrent in here and you um, and you and you just download I did some testing with some torrents which uh, may be illegal actually uh, I'm, I'm going to erase them immediately if they are I just wanted to show you how this works so I have the soundtrack from Slang Dog Millionaire and I have Taylor Swift Fearless and uh, which I downloaded just by going to Mininova getting the torrent files and I had the Fonera do the downloading for me while I was doing something else I also have I go back to the dashboard and I use some rapid share I didn't know rapid share frankly I mean I knew it existed but I had never used it I still find it a little complicated to stitch all the 100 meg files whatever but I see the virtue of it because it, it is so incredibly fast and I did some testing with rapid share it also works with mega upload but I couldn't do the testing with mega upload and with rapid share what I found is that I could uh, very very quickly download another test file which may be illegal in content so I'm immediately going to erase it after this video and it's Blood Simple 1984 a film I remember that I liked when I was in college and then I go back to the dashboard and I show the other things that I can do here um, we can do backups uh, sort of like uh, the time machine um, backups uh, you know that they're done by equipment like this one but you're talking about equipment that costs uh, close to 500 euros versus equipment that costs 49 euros and it does all this other stuff and so the backups uh, the way they work is you just choose the folders you would like normally to have in backup and they're backed up to a hard drive that you connect to the Fonera as you see I have here the hard drive a 750 gigabyte hard drive connected to the Fonera 
You can of course browse all the all the hard drives you have. You can add applications, which may be uh, applications that allow you to do Wi-Fi printing or Wi-Fi webcams. And the last thing I want to show you is that I'm connecting. I am obtaining internet right now through uh, uh, Vodafone uh, uh, HSTPA uh, dongle. So. I, I did this to show that this Fonera, other than obtaining internet, obviously over ethernet, uh, and other than giving you ethernet, by the way, if you want to, it, uh, it can obtain internet over 3G and give you Wi-Fi, because as we know, very few things connect to this, very few, but a lot of other gadgets like gaming and, and you know, the PSP, all the type of consoles that I have there, they, they don't say, please give me 3G, they say, give me Wi-Fi. So this is also another possibility of the Fonera. I hope you enjoy the video and when it comes out that you uh, test one, we'll sell them for only 49 euros and I don't know how many dollars yet, the world is crazy right now, but we'll figure that one out and it will be super affordable and a fun device to play with.